Uh, you have a key to something. Do I have a key? There's an empty room there that you haven't been to. Yeah, that's true. Let me go check on that. Yeah, go check that left. Well, no, not the balcony. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a balcony, yeah. See, I get, I get confused. On what, uh, yeah, just knock on the wall. Just knock on the wall. Why the fuck not? I forget. You know, I think if you open these again, sometimes they're stuck. Yeah, you know, just knock on the walls. We're trying to see if we can find any... You do a video of one of us dressed up like Luigi and just knocking on walls I'd be all great, around yeah, my apartment. Like, uh, no, no, just go do it in public <laughs> with a vacuum cleaner strapped to your back, yeah. Mega 64 style, or is that what that's called? Yeah, yeah I think Mega 64 did a lot of it. So. Yeah, at least. Yeah, and then I just hump or anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I I may go to jail, but we may get actually. Or do it on a college campus, and nobody will give a crap. Yeah, that's true. If you do anything on a college campus, it's just like you're okay, you can't go all in fucks or not. All right, well maybe you can go through that. I think if you go back in, do you go in the baby room, maybe again? No, I think you need to go to that downstairs room. Okay. The one that was all covered in vines and shit. No. <laughs> I get go gag gag. I'm a baby. Alright. Hey, I'm a baby or whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm a baby. My United States of whatever. I think the whatever. That was a good song. And and it was so edgy. Oh, oh. oh yeah, it's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey! It's a, look, Mine. You can see yourself now. You have a reflection. I thought you what were a ghost this whole time. What does my reflection show? I don't know. I, I, what's that from? Um, it's a musical, I think, or something. I don't know. I don't watch musicals. I don't either. Well, I do. <laughs> That's a lot. I do. I, I enjoy occasional Rocky Horror viewing. Okay. Uh, yeah, well. I, have you seen my Japanese Rocky Horror poster? No. That's I pretty, should show it to you. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. It's yeah. Like I got it at a Colossal Con. Yeah, speaking of that, what are you what are your feelings about this uh, new version they're coming out with like with the uh, the one uh, oh. from the the actress from uh, what was it, uh What are you talking or, about? Or, Orange, Orange is the new, new black. black, yeah. Yeah, with that award Emmy award winning actress actor. Tra first transsexual to win what? A It's uh, I think to win any kind of like Yeah, to award. win any major award. Yeah. Cuz and the board has been up. I mean, as you could see by oh, the Oscars being nothing but white men winning. Yeah. You can yeah. tell that there's a bit of a prejudice in Hollywood. Um, no, yeah, for the most part, yeah. They finally, they finally let Leonardo DiCaprio could go through because they realized he, they weren't, he wasn't just a big old wop. Because they're like, Leonardo DiCaprio, that's, that's totally Italian. <laughs> How people realize how facetious you're being with yes. that. No. <laughs> and that you're not actually being racist. Um, I think they get the gist. Yeah, I'm sure they I, get the joke. I'm, I'm pretty sure they know sure, you're joking. I'm pretty sure. Pretty nobody. sure people on the internet know whenever. And also, are way worse things have been said. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so it's true. Yeah. You know, harsh words at Leo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> DiCap wearing out. Okay, now you're going down to the boiler room. You're gonna meet Freddy, right? Yeah, this is where I meet Freddy Krueger. Hey, Freddy. Well, that's a special door, apparently. Mm -hmm. But this door you can go through. Yeah. You're gonna, what, flip the switch? Flip the script, as they say? Jesus. Oh, it's another of those coke doors. At yeah. least you managed to catch it. I got him, though. He, he, he put himself in the corner. Look at those little Mickey Mouses. Ooh! You got a... What the hell is that? A rupee. Rupee! I don't know how you got a rupee. But I got one. I think it's. I think that's what it is, is like... The first one of those you catch... Is like just like to show you what the hell they are. Hmm. But after that, I think they're like special ones that give you like extra money, which I don't think does anything in the game. Yeah. Are you searching the cask of Amontadillo for Any... ghosts? Well, that was a, a hoity-toity literary I was like, I was like what, what, what did you say Scooby do? I, <laughs> I got no idea what it was. It's an Edgar Allan Poe story, I believe. Oh, okay. The cask of Amontadillo. Oh, Or yeah. maybe someone else, and I look like a big, dumb idiot. Yep. Uh, Barbara Seville? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Barbara I'm... Seville is a musical, I believe. I am, I am uneducated. <laughs> okay, there are three good musicals in the world. And they're Hamilton, Book of Mormon, and Avenue Q. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Hamilton's fantastic. Yeah, I haven't actually seen it because it's like impossible to get tickets. Yeah, there is a touring group gonna come through Pittsburgh apparently. Really? Um, yeah, they're gonna do a touring group and it's gonna come through Pittsburgh. And yeah, I'll pro I might want to really go see that. Yeah, I might, I might consider that too. Lin Manuel Miranda is apparently going is apparently not with them anymore. 
the yeah. guy who wrote it. Yeah. Because he was Hamilton, and he also wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> Which was... he, that wasn't, you know, a main piece of the pie. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he's amazing, because he's been on a lot of the podcasts I listen to because he's a big fan of the Maximum Fun Network which is like 90% oh. of my podcast viewing uh, most of my podcasting lately have been um, it's gonna sound this is gonna sound like I am such <laughs> I live in a basement with my, with my parents which I, is not true I have my own room yeah yeah I yeah, have yeah, right my, yeah this is that guy is annoying yeah just ignore him uh, but anyways um my podcasting lately has been how has this been? How, how did this get made? Okay, that's actually a great one. That's a great one. Um, I've been listening to Magic the Gathering podcasts because there is that Nerd. such a thing. Um, it's a really good one actually. It's yeah, called... but you listen to Hearthcore too. What? Hearthcore? The, Hearth, the Hearthstone podcast. No, I listen to Angry Chicken. Oh, okay. Which is which is the uh, more lighthearted one, I think, oh, okay. of a bunch. It's okay actually. I've been kind of off of Hearthstone lately, though. With the new expansion just recently coming out to date this video, <laughs> uh, the uh, One Night in Karazhan, that looks and, and so far I played the first week of it and it's fantastic. It looks fun. It, it has like the the battles in it. So far, I've only used one where I've actually used my own deck, <laughs> so it's just kind of nice. Like all the rest of them have been like, there's a chess match one, hmm. which is really cool. Where it. Um, and then there's also one... Oh, yeah, somebody's taking a shit. The okay. Well, there's also a bathroom over here, apparently. Yeah. Oh, you boggle! Oh, no. Oh, God. The grabby oh, ghost. Oh, jeez. Grabby ghost, grabby ghost. Oh, like, penis-shaped grabby ghost. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was gross. Oh, there's no one in there. Oh, there's no one in there. It's empty. Well, this seems annoying. This is extremely They're gross. very lovey-dovey. I'm gonna suck on the Mm. Uh, they have an arcade version of this. Really? Yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah. Only at Dave and Buster's. Only at Dave and Buster's? Yeah. One of the Dave and Buster exclusive games. Like, like, how is this an arcade translation? I don't, I don't understand. It's like on rails, and you're sucking up ghosts. Okay. Yeah, it was. But it's not like this exact game. It's very close because you have to shine your flashlight at them, and then you suck on them, and you suck them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's a different story. Yeah. Oh, there's ghosts who will grab you by moving your control stick. Like that wouldn't be your first instinct anyway. Yeah, because I've never played video games ever before hey. in my whole life. Yep, there's a key up there. I'm surprised there was nobody in the bathroom. I think there's possibly is, but it's just not there yet. Well, the lights are on, so it can't be there now. Yeah, it's true. Oh, it's the other room. <laughs> oh, it is the other room. Oh, the other room. Okay, you go in the in yeah. the shit room. Yeah, you go in the pooper. Yeah, you go in the pooper and you get yeah. the ghost in the pooper. Isn't it so nice, though, now? When, like, in the older days, it's like, you know, the, the bathroom was separate from, the from like, where you actually went and took your traps. Yeah. I, it was a great idea, but I guess it just took up too much room. Right. But I would... But all it is is slapping a wall down in the middle of your bathroom. Yeah. I, I personally... I would personally enjoy that, because, I mean... I mean, let's be honest here. The, uh, the 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 inconvenience of somebody having to go to the bathroom while somebody's in the shower because you don't want to go into the person <laughs> while they're sh being showered, so you're not a creep. Right. If you're not in like a relationship. Yeah. And still, then I I still find it a little <laughs> bit off. Yeah. It's like oh oh. oh I, I love these shy guy ghosts. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely I I miss outhouses. I mean, what happened to being like somebody's in the shower? I'm gonna go outside and I'm going go. to. And I'm gonna go and you know take a pooey, take, take a number two. Kapooey! <laughs> and and the whole time I'm gonna be like kabawi, kapooey, and making old timey references. Oh yeah. There oh, we yeah. I love the ballroom, but there's like dancing pitchfork shy guys. Ah, it's, it's it's a good time. Of course, when your ex is sucking them up, they just kind of look exactly like the other kinds of ghosts that you're picking up. Yeah, I mean. What's so crazy about I, I like this game will do it. I think they do it again on this one, like how you just did it. It's like, oh, there's these guys that if you, if you, you know, part, if, if, if they grab on you, you gotta, like, you know, run around. I think they do the same thing with this guy. It's like after you're done, it's like, you gotta, you gotta suck your mask off. Oh, thanks, <laughs> really. Thanks for that after I'm done fucking doing that. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Yeah, suck their mast. Reveal their hearts. Oh, I only got one of them. Yeah. Oh. It's difficult to get two at once anyway. Usually I suck them up yeah. all the time. 
You know, I, and this is just me. I don't know if this is just me being a newer style gamer, but I really love the idea of achievements. Because, like, right there, I think that that would be, like, an achievement kind of thing, like, suck to good to pool. It's like... Mm, so it's kind of a cheap, cheap way of faking progression, but on the other hand, that's all video games are. Are, are ways of making you feel like you're progressing so that you continue playing. You know, that's all that, like, leveling is. It's just a cheap, cheap sense of progression. So achievements are just another part of that, so I can see what you might, why you might like that. I forget how to get these guys. Mm, just point your... There you go, just point it, because that... Mm. I think there's, like, a special time... You have to you suck can... on something. Oh, wait, they're coming together. That's what it is, is when they come together. Probably. Or... Usually people are at their most uh, vulnerable when they come together. Come together! Right oh. now, over me. I think as long as you sing less than six seconds, you're okay. Yeah, well, or aren't so amazingly good. Well, that's already normal. Yeah, Because I nailed the front so. Come together! Exquisite. Right now, yeah! Oh, me. I recently watched him supposedly play a song off of his country album, <laughs> and it sounded exactly like a fucking Aerosmith song. <laughs> I was like, this is country. I'm like, you're just trying to put yourself into other things now, Steven Tyler. <laughs> It's like, I listen to my country album, and this is my blues album, which sounds the same. Yeah. This is my blues album. Next, I'm going to do my classical album. <laughs> it's like violin. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah, yeah basically, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically, it's just uh, him singing different versions of Don't Want to Miss a Thing <laughs> over and over again. I don't want to miss a thing. No. Even when I close my eyes. God damn it, was that, was, was that where I was supposed to be? I don't know. What, did we get dizzy or something with it? Yeah, let's get crunk and dizzy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got one. You got that asshole. They're just trying to dance with his wife. Yeah, fucking... What a dick. Good. Yeah, why the hell are you dancing? You're a goddamn ghost. I kind of feel like Luigi's the bad guy here. Luigi's <laughs> just a dick. He's, He's just, just like, like, they're just like spinning around, having a good fucking time. Yeah, they're just a bunch of ghosts living in a house that they created. It's like the only real bad ghost is the ghost at the end of the game. Yeah, the only bad ghost is, the, is actually the King Boo. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Oh, oh, you're spoiling the end of this game. You jerkazoid.